one of the things about our team since rollout, which is probably different than a lot of your others, was that um, we had two different payroll systems operating at the same time, right? We had our original payroll system and we were in the process of transitioning to a new payroll system. And so when we first launched TeamSense, we had four sites on the new system, the remaining on the old, and we're actually still in the transitioning phase. And so what we decided to do is we said, hey, we're gonna focus on the first four um, on the new system because we're gonna do a full integration. And we're gonna utilize TeamSense to its full capabilities so that when our supervisors log in at the beginning of their day, they're able to see who called off where, they can manpower plan. They can understand about um, uh, employee sharing because they know what sites have have headcount, what sites don't have headcount, um, and that's where we really we really focused on. But the the execution was saying we need to get the right people involved, and frankly, that wasn't me from procurement. I just brought all the parties in, so I brought our IT team with your IT team. And that's, it was, it was flawless after that. I like to say that um, like everything that TeamSense does, particularly Josh on your guys' team and our IT team, it's kind of magic that happens in the background. Um, but it was, it was easy. We did the first four sites very seamlessly. And then we had rolled out technically all the data at the same time but we waited to do the next grouping of sites all at the same time. The actual rollout was very easy. The challenging part was making sure that we sent the right data to, to TeamSense um, and that TeamSense knew what data we wanted to see and how we wanted to see it. But from an execution standpoint, I don't think any execution is flawless, but I would like to say like, this is about as close to flawless as one can get. Um, and it was rather, it was, it was, it wasn't painful, which is exciting for me.